Hey, Corey. Hey. How do you store your eyepieces? In a uh, Apache 4800 hard-covered puck foam case. You want to show it to us? Sure. Right this way. Uh, Maybe on the hood, on the back. Yeah, right, right here would be good. Oh. <laughs> Alright, why is it important to keep them in a hard case? In case you drop it. And uh, also, you know, before I had these step stools, I would actually stand on my eyepiece case probably not recommended but gives me that little extra boost you know yeah and uh, pluck foam obviously they're super expensive you got to take care of them and uh, yeah it's got this it's also got this ventilation thing open and close valve securely before getting wet you know I never really uh, get it wet on purpose last night this whole thing was drenched though just by dew just from dew. So yeah, the most important thing I, I believe about storing your eyepieces and your filters is not necessarily temperature, because I mean, I had it in my car, you know, but when it gets super cold and or super hot, um, I've had it in my car temporarily, but moisture is the huge thing. Um, for example, last night, everything was super dewy. And what I always do is, um, <clears throat> whenever I, I pack them up and take them home, well, first I, I take, obviously all the caps are still off from, from observing, you know, and uh, like last night I, I had them all, all the caps off and kind of propped up like this, um, and then I just put it in my, I just put it in my car and closed the door while I'm breaking down my scope, and then I just close it for the short trip home, and then when I get home, I open it back up and I leave all the, all the eyepieces kind of propped up with no, you know, until the next day, the next morning, or 30 minutes later, just to make sure because the moisture can damage the coating. You know, over over time, I mean, if you didn't, if you were careless, uh, it would damage the coating with with mold and mildew, and that's just that's just nasty. You know, these are too expensive to. So you know, same thing with my scope too. Just you know, let it acclimate. Not only when you start observing, but whenever you're done observing, you know, make sure to have the, the caps off and let it let it get back to. The temperature that you store it in so one other thing I do to take care of my eyepieces is uh, I bought this this cheap Savoni uh, eyepiece warmer I don't even know if it was made for eyepieces but I mean I've tried to use it before this is it right here dew heater strip yeah maybe it is you know and so this this just heats up really nice and uh, you know you can it can strap around you know 1.25 or two two inch eyepieces, and uh, yeah it comes with this this uh, USB thing, and I'll plug this in to my uh, my Dynamo Pro here, and uh, and you you kind of come it comes with a high middle or low volume I always have it on high, and it heats up really good. I'm just not sure if I'm I'm using it right or or what, but let me let me show you an example here of uh, how I usually do it. So you know you got you got an eyepiece and you just and I'll wrap it around like this, you know. It kind of ma makes it bigger and bulkier. Now see, I'm not sure whether to 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 bring it up like this, you know, but uh, it kind of. I don't know, I still haven't really figured it out 100%, but it definitely heats up and I mean, I'm new to eyepiece warmers. I mean, this is not this is not um it's not like a designated uh do active dew control like Thousand Oaks or or do not or even the R Sky would have for for eyepiece warmers, you know? But I mean, I definitely struggle with it. I definitely want to try a hair dryer um and just kind of blast that. I know that would work. You know, I've heard I've heard it would work and it makes sense, but I mean, this thing is not. It doesn't really give me the results that I need, you know, because I mean, the bottoms of it will do up, and and even this doesn't really prevent it. Because in Virginia here, we get some really humid nights where humidity is like 100% or 90%, you know. 
So I'm still kind of working through it, but this is what I got. It was super cheap. It was 20 bucks off Amazon, so I figured I'd give it a try.